because somebody's got to say something. With Brian King. According to the New Georgia Project, there are over 800,000 unregistered African Americans who are eligible to vote in the state of Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. It's time to step up and make a difference. Today, V103 is launching a new initiative, a movement called Black Votes Matter. The mission is to register people to vote, not only to register them to vote, but then to get them to the polls because it's time, not only for the presidential election, but local elections as well. Today, we are launching Black Votes Matter. And you're saying, tell me all about it. Well, why? Well, the reason is this. We don't want to live to regret this. This time. This moment in history. I don't want to live to regret this. Because the time is now. You've been sitting on your hands. You've been waiting. You've been watching. You've been hoping and you've been praying. Well, the call to action is here. Because there's about to be a paradigm shift. A movement of sorts, a time for you to shock the world, to shock the state, to prove those wrong who are already saying, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. See, we talked about this in March of this year, about what it's called when we don't have an interest or a lack of enthusiasm. We talked about black apathy, and most of us say, if it doesn't affect our family or our paycheck, then we don't give a damn. Well, get ready. You better get ready to have your family affected, your paycheck affected, your way of life affected. Because if you don't first register and then vote, it doesn't matter what your slogan is. Sold to the polls, vote or die. Because it's very simple. The difference between a democracy and a dictatorship is that in a democracy, you vote first and then you take orders later. In a dictatorship, you don't have to waste your time voting. So are you ready to put a dictator in the White House? Somebody who just said something because they told you so? Because that's just the way it is? How simple do I have to make it for you? Do you need a, a clever acronym? Okay, fine. Here we go. Trump. T-R-U-M-P. What could it possibly mean? Trump. To ridicule unbiased, masked populations. Trump. Mexico needs a wall. Muslim need to be profiled. The dead soldier's family is wrong. The media is trying to get me... You know, to lose. Trump, T R U M P, to rile up many people. Or my favorite, Trump. Totally racist, unqualified man, period. Well, let's move on. If you go 50 miles in any direction from Atlanta, you'll go back 50 years in time. In all the rural areas and towns where sheriffs and prosecutors and other elected officials have done it the old-fashioned way, it's time to shake that up, too. If you had a dollar for every time someone has told you the story that they encountered law enforcement or people who were in power who said, well, I don't know how they do it in the city, but here in Blank County, this is how we do it. Why? Because I said so, boy. See, bad officials are elected by good citizens who do not vote. That's what's about to happen in this election. And I hope you don't live to regret it. You say you don't like politics? You politic every day. You may have a supervisor that you cannot stand and you want to curse him out. But you can't. Because if you do, you may get fired and ain't nobody got time to be getting fired. That's politics. You're protecting your goal to not get fired by managing your temperament for someone who has power. That's politics. Are you ready for this? The Center for American Progress says that a massive wave of voter registration could shake up the political dynamic if we just got 60 percent of unregistered black voters in this state and those voters then turn out. That would create a core of 290,000 new black voters, which is 30,000 more than the average margin of victory for a governor in this state. But wait, not just blacks. What if we registered 60 percent of unregistered black, Hispanic and Asian voters? That would create 369,000 new voters of color or 109,000 more than the margin of victory. This is truly the new black belt of the South. 
We don't just want to shock the nation. They're already saying that Donald Trump is leading in Georgia by 4%. We don't want to just shock the state. We want to shock the world. When we say enough is enough, you think we plan? 51 years ago, they did everything they could to make sure that you could not vote from poll taxes to literacy tests to grandfather clauses. But the people station has got something for you this time. With more than a million people listening a week, we gonna get that 60%. And it starts today. So I'm telling every black voter, every voter of color, enough with the hashtags and the likes and the views. I want you to like the fact that you are registered and the only view you are concerned with is the view you get from being inside that polling precinct. And the DM you get most excited about is one that is the direct message that DM democracy matters, that your life matters, your child's life matters, that jury duty matters, and that black votes matter. Because we're tired, we're frustrated, we're fed up, we've been waiting patient, Lee, but enough is enough.